In the previous lecture, in our discussion on the general form of Ampere's law, we were able to show that the rate of change of our charge across a parallel plate capacitor is equal to the product of the permittivity of free space multiplied by the area of either one of our plates of the capacitor multiplied by the rate of change of our electric field with respect to time. Now let's look at the following application of this equation. Suppose that at some given moment in time the electric current inside a wire is 5 amps. Now this electric wire that carries this electric current is connected to a parallel plate capacitor with square plates each having a side length of 3 centimeters. We want to calculate the rate at which the electric field is changing. So here we have the following closed electric circuit that contains the following parallel plate capacitor. And and at some given moment in time, the electric current that is moving through our wire, I, is given by the following quantity. So we want to apply the following equation to solve for the rate at which our electric field is changing. So, the rate at which the quantity of charge on either one of these plates is changing with respect to time, dq divided by dt, is equal to our permittivity of free space multiplied by the area of either one of these plates multiplied by the rate at which our electric field is changing with respect to time. Now, because by definition of instantaneous electric current I, I is equal to dq divided by dt, we can replace dq divided by dt with simply i. So i is equal to epsilon naught multiplied by the area of the plates multiplied by the quantity that we're looking for, dE divided by dt. So let's solve for this by dividing both sides by epsilon naught multiplied by a and we see that d e divided by dt, the rate at which our electric field between the plates is changing with respect to time, is equal to the instantaneous electric current I divided by epsilon naught multiplied by A. Now epsilon naught, also known as the permittivity of free space, is a constant. It has a value of 8.85 times 10 to negative 12 coulombs squared divided by newtons multiplied by meters squared. Now our area is simply the length of one side squared. So we see because we're dealing with centimeters we have to divide by 100 to convert to meters. So we get 0 0.03 meters. We square that and that gives us the area. So, at this particular moment in time, the I is equal to 5 amps. So, 5 amps divided by the product of the area and the permittivity of free space gives us a value of 6.3 times 10 to the 14 volts per meter multiplied by second. This is the rate at which our electric field is changing inside our capacitor as a result of the changing charge on either one of these two plates of our parallel plate capacitor. And once again, this equation comes from the general form of Ampere's law.